Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can create a checklist where we're trying to uh, create a cost for an item with multiple options and uh, you can choose to select, include, or exclude any of the items and have them included or not included in the cost. So let's take a look and see how this can work. Here's the completed result of our process here. I have a product that has a base cost of $42 and then there's 10 options that I can select that have various costs. The base is always included so the total cost without any options is $42. And then if I select any of the items by checking on them it adds that automatically into the cost. So I've selected option 2 which is $5. Now my total is $47. I add option 6, another $5, I'm up to $52. Option 8 makes it 54. How do we do that? We're going to go over to Sheet 2 and take a look and see how we can add those checkboxes with this options to this process. Here we go. The key to making this process work is two points. One, inserting checkboxes and two, using helper columns in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of columns here between column A and B and this is where I'm going to put uh, a couple of my formulas. So what I want to do is in column A add my checkboxes. So to do that we click on in this case A3 and we go up to the developer tab. Now if you don't have the developer tab visible just go to the file tab, go down to options, select um, customize your ribbon and here just make sure your developer tab is checked and that will make that appear on your ribbon. So I'll go to my insert command and from the form controls select checkbox. Then I can just drag and draw where I want the checkbox to be. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the text there and delete that. Click off of that. I'm going to just click on it and you can see now I have a box where I can check it. If I right click on it I can now relocate it and position it a little bit better and I'll have it there. Again, I'll right click and go down to Format Control. Now here is where I link a cell to this. So I am going to link cell B3. Click that. I'm also going to put 3D shading, make it look a little nicer, and I'll say OK. Now when I check the box, notice in cell B3 it says True. When it's unchecked, it says False. So now what I want to do is put a formula that says equals if cell B3 equals false, then I'll put double blanks. I want it to do nothing. If it's true, then I want it to select cell E3 to put in the price. I'll say OK or close my parentheses, hit enter. Now when I check that box, notice B3 turns the true and it includes the cost from cell E3 into cell C3. Now all I need to do is copy all this down and make adjustments to each of the checkboxes to reference the correct cell. So what I'll do is I'll just select cell A3, copy that, and then paste it into the rest of the cells. And I'll take this formula and copy it down too. Now what I need to do is right click on each checkbox, go to the format control, and make sure it's referencing the proper cell. In this case they're all going to say B3 so I have to change them to reference the proper one. And I'll say OK. Now when I check that it's going to put true in cell B4 and add the cost from column E into column C. So I'm going to pause here, do that to the rest of these and then we'll continue on our process. I just have the last one to go. Right click on it Format Control, Cell Link, I'm going to choose B12, OK, and OK. And now any one of these I check will turn that to true. When I uncheck it, it'll make them false. Now the last couple steps is I'm going to put a formula in cell E13. I'll just hit Alt Equals and I am going to highlight this and say enter. And here in cell C2 I'm just going to put equals 
the primary cost because that is always to be included in the base. Then the next step is to hide these two columns. And now I have my form. Base is $42, and if I select any option, it automatically includes it in the price. And it's that simple. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.